Hey, dear saints, let's go over the first and second tables of the law. Now, if you remember, as we've gone through the first three commandments, there's something very specific about all three. There's a direction. The first commandment, you shall have no other gods. The second commandment, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. The third commandment, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Who are we talking about? In all three commandments, we're talking about our relationship with God or God's relationship with us. You see, these three commandments are all about direction. That God, our Father in heaven, the only God, the eternal God who created everything, wants to know you wants to love you. That's the first commandment. Don't fool around with any other gods. They will lie to you and they will kill you. In the second commandment, our Lord reminds us to use his name rightly. The God of all the universe wants you to talk to him. He wants to hear from you. He wants to answer your prayers. The third commandment, our Lord says, I have gifts for you, great and precious gifts for you. Don't despise the gifts. Come to where the gifts are. Come to worship. And our Lord gives us all through all of those gifts. You see, the first table of the law is all about God's relationship with us. He wants to give you these good gifts. The first table of the law specifically sets apart our, our relationship with Jesus. The second table of the law, that deals now with our relationship with our brother. Now remember, in the end of Matthew, in chapter 22, Jesus is being cornered by the Pharisees. There's a lawyer there, and he wants to make sure to try to put Jesus to the test. And as he does this, he asks Jesus a very specific question. Which of the commandments is the greatest? And of course, Jesus answers. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. That's the first and greatest commandment. That's the first table of the law. But did you notice that Jesus didn't stop there? Jesus didn't say, just know God, that's all. He said, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Commandments 4 through 10 now will jump into how do we use these gifts God has given to us to love our neighbor? You see, dear saints, a relationship with God that never produces any fruit is not a good relationship. An apple tree produces apples, an orange tree produces oranges, and the Christian produces acts of love. Now, these acts of love won't save us, but these acts of love are a result of God loving us. First, table of the law, God loves you. The second table of the law, That love for you that has taken us to the cross, that has forgiven our sins, that has drawn us into the kingdom in the waters of holy baptism, that table of the law that now lives in us looks to express itself by taking this love and these gifts of God and loving my neighbor. That's the second table of the law. Remember your baptism, dear saints. Live in your baptism. Go in his peace. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.